welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with another episode of Let's Play Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. I'm joined, as always, by the breakdancing prince. When we last left off, we got the dagger, and we were chasing a hot girl. Let's go chase her some more. As I was trying to explain before, you see those, those, those white crescents to the right of the yellow spheres? Those... We w you get those for collecting uh, collecting sand from enemies. Uh, those sand clouds, if you get eight of those, you get another uh, yellow sand tank. Oh, watch this. Midair! Yeah, you just, you just change his direction midair. Ooh, and it looks like I have found the first... No, get back up. The first secret! These are, these are special little things. They, they're not part of the actual castle. You'll find that out. Right after he goes through here. Yeah, this is not the castle anymore, is it? Hello? Is anyone there? No. I have a feeling I'm not in Azad anymore. You're not. Walk up to the uh, the fountain. He'll automatically drink out of it. And then he'll freak the fuck out. His eyes are all glowy. And now he's back where the hole was, but there's no hole there. But we have a life extension! Awesome! No, that is not what I wanted to do. What Stop it. Happened? Nothing. That's strange. I feel wonderful. He feels wonderful. Awesome. Ah! Do you guys see that? Sand cloud over here. Like I said, you get eight of those. You get another sand tank. Uh, the white things are called power tanks. Um, I believe. Hi. Oh, snatched up. Give me the dagger. Who are you? I am Farah, the daughter of the Maharaja from whom you stole it. This is your doing. I saw my father turn to sand. And we will share his fate. Not give me the dagger to undo what you have done. Your traitorous vizier used the same words. From now on, I trust no one but myself. Run! Oh no! One of the weakest enemies in the game. Go back to the reception hall. Wait for me there. Go! See that cracks me up. He was just like, I trust nobody. I will protect you. Run! Run! Oh, I got hit. Eh, it doesn't matter. Water's right there. Uh, yeah, these guys are, are weak. The, the only problem is that they come in bunches. So one of them is likely to sneak in an attack like that. Because he's a dick. But they go down easy enough. Just just spam tr s your, your attack button. For me, it's square. Now I remember her. Since we left India, she had been here. In the desert, I had felt her dark eyes upon me. Now, here she was again. She and I, the only two survivors. Did I say two? Excuse me, we were three. Okay, so yeah, he's telling the story from the future um, of, of what we're looking at right now. And he is, he is one foreshadowing motherfucker, let me tell you. He d <sighs> okay, we need to go down there. But first, we need to go this way. Since that's the way we were supposed to go, we need to go the other way, because there's going to be a secret. Like this sand cloud! Awesome. So let's go this way then. Jump across, like the game is telling us to. And uh, no, you can't run across there. Y you might think you can, but you can't. You need to walk outside. For another cutscene! Oh, is that an angle? Must be something important. The hourglass. What? What? Looks I like did not understand the meaning of what I had just seen. But I knew, with a certainty I could not explain, that those winged creatures had a master. The man who had tricked me into opening the hourglass now had his prize. But for some unknown purpose, coveted the dagger as well. Would stop it nothing to possess it. Well, I would give him what he sought. I would plunge it into his foul and treacherous heart. 
Awesome. So you saw that. We needed to climb the pillars. That's what they were highlighting in that little thing. So yes, we have... I guess the vizier, he, he's implying, is still alive. Let's jump down here. And then you see the shadow on the wall? That is where you need to jump from. Then you can slide down. Take on some more beetles. And down they go. He has a very awesome pose. Let's grab the sand cloud. We're getting close to, uh, to getting another tank. And then, leave. Alright, let's go. Oh, jump! Once again, the shadow tells you where you need to aim for. Let's hop across the pillars again. I don't think I actually need to go on that one. Uh, is there something up here? There is. Hop across. And this leads us up here, which is exactly where I wanted to go, I swear. Ah! Oh, jeez. Alright. Uh, that is not what I wanted to do. So let's hop back up here. Oh, dude, seriously. Okay, the camera is screwing with me. There we go. I need to jump up there. Let's get this sand cloud. Like I said, getting very close. Very close. Let's hop over here. Uh, you cannot run across the, the cracks on the wall, so instead, let's climb down, but you can hang from the cracks, which is just as good. Just as good. So let's climb over here, drop down, take on some more scarabs. Damn, flying super beetles. Down you go! Looks like we need to run across here. Once again, I like to run across the wall instead of, you know, jumping because, honestly, it's more stable. Because <laughs> I, you just saw me jump, and that did not work out well. Now, if you remember this one from the, from the little vision, we need to to hop from here. Let's just line it up, and then we can drop down. And we do have. Oh, same enemies. I thought there were going to be new enemies this time. Yes, there, there sh there's one. Uh, these are the women. These are the hookers, I assume. The women from the harem. Uh, they are immune to that. The, the regular attack followed by the dagger attack. Let's see if I can show it off here. Them blocking it. I'll kill this guy first. So, yeah. Let's see. And blocked. See, so you need to go for the double normal attack followed by the dagger in the back when she's lying on the ground. And is that going to do it? Nope, there's going to be more. Where are they? Where are they? There's one. So I don't like the women because it, it takes more time. Plus, uh, since they have like their two small blades, they do a lot more damage. They do. They get this combo going. Ugh, it is not pretty. Doesn't matter if you're in front of them or behind them. Vaulting over them uh, throws them off their off balance, and then you can hit them. Yeah, the, the enemies don't necessarily get harder as much as. Th they start to give a lot more of them. I'll probably keep all the battles in because, like I said, this is such a short game, and a lot of the game is doing this battling. No, 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 no. When that light starts to go, she's she's thinking about getting up. Can't let that happen. Gotta stab her with the dagger. And stab in the back for the victory. Nice. And our save point is fully, fully made, I guess. So yes, 16 uh, retrieves, I guess they call it, for, uh, for for taking an enemy's sand will create a new power tank, which is the white crescent thing. Uh, eight sand clouds will make a new uh, sand tank, which is the, the yellow circles. I've gone over this a few times. 
Let's just watch what I need to do next. What is it? Uh, that doesn't look good. Okay. Move a block. Jump for your life. Oh, that thing. Oh, I hate that thing. Yeah, I have to do that. Sets up traps. Okay. Con save. Yes. Done. I'll start the story from here next time. Awesome. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. The glowing rods that you saw there. Uh, I, I, after how many years, I still remember that. I think this is the one, actually. That I need to use. Right? The, yeah, there we go. Secret passage. Behind this one. This is the only one with the secret passage. You can move all the others, but there's just a wall there. Okay. Let's go this way. Hop over. Pick up another sand, which does give us a new sand tank. Awesome. And then... Awesome. Anything over here? No. So we just run across. Leap to victory. Just barely made that one. And... Uh, huh? Oh! It's Zelda. Okay, I can, I can do the simplest Zelda puzzle ever. Sure, why not? Then we're through. And this is something I don't think they do in Zelda. I could be wrong. I don't, I don't know Zelda that well. But uh, they do have these levels, levers that you pull out. And, and then it creates a time, uh, time puzzle that you, have to, that you have to solve. And leap! Barely made it. Oh, thank God! I was afraid you were one of them! Can you help me activate the Azad defense system? It'll take both of us to do it! I'll reset the axles for you! The man who's normally in charge of this got... Never mind! Ride the platform down to the bottom! Then use those two cranks to bring it back up! You see those four axles? You'll need to pick them up one by one! Until you've got all four! Then, bring them up to the top, together! Make sure you pick them up in the right order! God, I find that guy incredibly annoying. So... That's it! You've got the first axle! Now, uh, axle. pick up the other three! Uh, these little signals. Remember, pay attention to the grooves. These little symbols here tell you which way. You know, this rotates it. This this raises and lowers it. That's it. One crank turns the platform. The other one raises and lowers it. And you swing this one all the way around. Uh, this is a lot easier than it looks th because there's not really very many other combinations except for the right one. And lower it. And then that, that one should shine because it matches. Right? Not only does it need to be the uh, lined up with a rod, it needs to be the, the, the right little moon symbol lining Let's up with the rod. Yeah, I can count. Thanks. Raise it up. And then swing it back around. Looks like we need to do it one more time. Now if you look, see that, yeah, we can't move it anymore, so let's move it up. We need to go up two so we can start moving it again. Then let's see. Automatically lined up with the third one. Awesome. Already making a lot of progress. Let's go get that one. Just one more! Can still count. Thank you, though. Um, let's... Ah, crap. Went the wrong way. Might as well keep going, now. And then we need to lower it here once the last one's lined up properly. Ah, wrong way. Not yet! You need to pick up all four axles! Thank then you. Bring them up to the top. Uh, yeah, not only do you need to, to pick them up, you need to line them up properly, too. He doesn't say that. Got all four! That's four! Now, bring 
bring them up to the top and line them up with their gears. All right, so raise them up here. Let's see. That you see that giant circle there is a half moon. Here's the half moon one. So we need to rotate it this way. And then raise it up and it looks like we should be good. Yep. That's it! I knew you could do it! So sweet, activating the defense system. That's good, right? That's what we want. Now, there's one last step. Do you see that platform? Throw your lever and I'll throw mine! What manner of machine is this? I told you! It's the palace's defense system! Stop wasting time! Throw your lever! Okay. Ah! We did it! We did it! I said Serve that first. Those accursed demons right! Oh, by God, they'll rue the day! They ever dared attack the palace of Azad! Ah, crap. We set up traps. And the pointy poles. I'm pretty sure that was him dying. So, obviously, he didn't make it. Hey. Hey. No. Die. You too. You're not welcome in this world. Just the two? Okay. I'll take just the two. And there's the new save point. You know, they have to show it to you, even though it's directly on your path. Here it is. Let's watch this vision here. Uh-huh. Right. Nice. Stabby stab. I don't like that, though. Do I want to save? Yes, I do. Oh, wow. I believe Done. that... I'll start the story from here next time. Yeah. This is, this is going a little bit faster than I remembered, but it looks like that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by the Breakdancing Prince. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.